got that nice liquid sunshine today. It's going to be here all day. <laughs> Looked like it'd be all weekend the way the weather looked. Yeah, it's very positive. Yep. Well, how's Matco life? We're here. It's almost the weekend, so <laughs> we don't want to plan to do another one. That's good. It's been a fun week for sure, but we got a new tool this week. It's one that we uh, kind of talked about last week in Power Pro, but we got it uh, coming in about the middle of this week. Okay. Um, everybody knows uh, when the battery drains, you normally have a drag out from here. Um, mm -hmm. Having to figure out where the draw comes to, it can be kind of aggravating. This one here has a built in power device. So you charge it up, you get ready to do it, you plug it in, take the battery off, then you watch the screen. It's actually going to tell you what the draw is at the t current time, and uh, you can watch the computers go to sleep. But then also, when you notice that the draw is too much, you start removing fuses, mm -hmm. and you'll actually watch it live to see if there's a big change or not. Um, kind of a multi tool, also, if you don't have a draw, but you're fixing to change the battery. Because you're plugging it into the OBD2, because it's like got its own battery source, you plug it in, undo the battery, put the new battery in, and never lose any of your presets and everything like that. So, a pretty pretty cool tool. Um, obviously, if you've been doing it with your meter, you know your, your whole life, you probably have it down pat. Right. For the newer guys, they always seem to do it wrong the first several times. Normally, it's with somebody else's meter. It's always a new fuse that has to be replaced, uh, and you know, so it's just made to make it easier, quicker, and a little bit more visual too. Yeah, um, yeah. Because something that you get with your volt meters is some of them, if you the way that you have them set, um, they won't change rapid enough, or um, you've got it set to where the changes to be so much mm -hmm. that you may miss a little bit of a draw. So, well, obviously, you're not looking for every single little draw because some of it is within spec but uh, every vehicle is different but pretty cool quick easy tool to make that work so i'm pretty excited about it i've been doing it with me my whole life right I've been a, my whole life the whole time i was a technician um, so i know how to do it and i also know that it was almost always my wire would fall off or something like that mm -hmm. and that start over because once once it comes loose it wakes everything up and gets start over so just i would have one if i was still doing it every day for sure that's cool. Uh, I know almost all of the Mac dealers have got one now. They were sent out on a new product prop one. So uh, if you've been looking for one or something like that, they definitely got them. I know several of them have sold some and ordered some more. So. That's good. Cool. Well, y'all got any more new stuff that come in through the... You want to talk about these old days that we got now? This is one of our little exciting things. So we've been, uh, since a, we've been in, we've been in about six years now. Everybody has asked us for little bitty adjustable wrenches. I don't know what it is about the little, little adjustable wrenches, but they have wanted the little adjustable wrenches forever. You know, Nipix, we, we talked about Nipix. Uh, we've sold almost every one of them, a pair of the PC5s, uh, and they love them, but they want their little adjustable wrenches as right. well. So when we saw these at Expo this year, we knew we had to get them. Now, obviously, this is not something, it's not like that draw test over there to where it's this new tool that's never been out before. But it's something new to the Mako truck that they that they really ate up. They really liked it. So uh, I think, uh, and I may be wrong on this, but I think the popularity comes from Snap-on. I think Snap-on had hmm. uh, a little set of these uh, back when. I don't know. They may still do it. Uh, and everybody that used to have a snap on either that don't have one or something else, they'll say, hey, I've had this, I had them forever, I can't find them, do you have them? And for a while, I just know. And one thing they did do on these is they went ahead, you know, we've had the bigger ones on here to where they kind of make it smaller up here so they'll fit into a tighter spot. So they went ahead and did it to, with these. Right. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I don't think you're going to be trying to get into something that tight. Um, with these, mostly probably battery cable, something quick, you know, something that, hey, I've, I've got this in my pocket, um, and maybe I can and knock it out, but just another pocket carry, good for birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, 
or just to have in your pocket. I mean, so that's cool. Well, tiny tools is popular, huh? Well, the PC fives have been something that has been a must carry for ever. We can't ever keep enough PC fives. It seems like you order thirty, you sell thirty three. Um, so <laughs> it's a good thing yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not complaining, but uh, there's going to be new stuff trickle out through the through the year. So we'll see how that works. Um, this week, the popularity has been between these and uh, uh, Raycon earbuds. Mm -hmm. um, Everly likes to listen to music, kind of calms you down, keeps you from throwing wrenches and everything else when stuff don't go your way. So we'll see how the week goes or next week goes, but. For this week, it's been the Little Wretches and the Raycons. There you go. Can't beat it. Boy, that's cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. It is Friday. Finally, Friday. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great week, weekend. See ya.